you can imagine how small that would be. We're literally putting one to two years of our life in all that. It's Yuntak time with Akko and Tamo. What does Yuntak mean? It's an Okinawan word from the islands of Okinawa, which means chit chat. We want to invite you to our kitchen table and include you in our chit chat to explore new ways of thinking, to welcome different perspectives, and we want to share ideas on how to love yourself, love your partner, and shower your children with love. This is episode 51. And the topic of the day is we move to Hawaii and lots of parent life stuff. And before we get started, please take a quick moment to subscribe to our show. Now let's get back to our recent happenings. So recently, we obviously moved and we are finally settled and getting ready to get our life started in Hawaii.、It、took a long while. We've shared that we're going to be moving. In episode 49, and finally, after months,、um, yeah. settled down and really working to start our life here in Hawaii. And even between that time, episode 50 to 51, there are so many things that had happened.、Such. For example, after one week in Hawaii, the car that we shipped didn't even last a week.、Yeah. It broke down within a week. <laughs> I know. And the, the cost to fix it was way more than the, the value, value of the car.、Mm-hmm. So we decided to donate that and then. I had to fly back and then ship my car here. And there was just so many things that happened. Oh, yeah.、Uh, it was continuous. Yes. And, and then... I was stranded during that time with the kids. And during the afternoon, it's so hot. So it's hard to get the kids out during the afternoon. But we made it all happen. And what else did we have? We had a lot going on. And then we、yeah. had a wedding. We had a wedding. We had to fly out to a different island. And so we were there for two weeks. And then we had what?、Um, family come family. over. Yes. Family came over. And then friends came over. Yeah. Friends. Came up, we had a performance that I had to perform. There was just a lot going on. Yeah, and a then lot going on. We were finally able to exhale and get life started. But that's only going to be for another、uh, maybe a week, two weeks, because then we have to fly back to California. We have、um, wedding part two and just、mm-hmm. a lot of stuff that's been in the pipeline. So we've been quite busy. And not only that, during that time, we're looking for a place to stay. And then for the kids,、uh, keeping them busy, which is a、uh, full time、oh, job、yeah. times 10. <laughs> and then also <laughs> looking for a school for them. Yeah. And then, yeah, it's yeah. just. And looking for a second car. Yeah.、Oh, there's a lot going、oh, yeah, on. Oh, yeah. So much that happened. And then we had to furnish the place. There's just so much that we went through, but not complaining. It's just been a great time of challenge and overcoming、yeah. those challenges. And、yeah. now we can share、uh, what we learned. So, yeah, difficulties moving with children. Let's just go、uh, straight into the topic、mm-hmm. of the day,、mm-hmm. which is we moved. And then just sharing the parent life stuff. When it comes to moving with very small children, it's very difficult because they need full attention. Oh, yeah. And then they need some time to adapt. They're obviously feeding into our emotions and our stress. So we need to make sure that we can help process their emotions. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And I have to say, this move definitely was one of the more difficult times of my life. Just because, yes, if it's just a moving by myself or with Akko, it's simple. It's、yeah. much more simple. But now, when it comes to with small children, there's a lot of just Uh, paperwork that has to be done too. We've, you know, getting new utilities,、oh, I'm、yeah. changing everything out, like、mm-hmm. the addresses and things like that. So it's been just more than a plain ride here. Yes. So it's definitely not a vacation. It's more of a, it's just a, it's a move. Exactly. Yeah,、so. It's life. Yeah, it's been quite difficult. But again, like Akko said, we were needing to express our emotions in a healthy way so that we can show by example to our children.、Mm-hmm. And also, our children would be feeding off our energy, making sure that we give them their space in order for them to process and help process their emotions so that it's not just a continual chaos.、Exactly. It's much easier said than done, definitely. Exactly. Exactly. But that's how it was. Yeah. And the second thing was looking for mommy groups and f i n d Finding educational opportunities for our kids. What I did first was reach out by going into Facebook and joining some groups and asking those moms and dads of any educational opportunities, any preschool for our daughter. And I got a bunch of responses. So I decided to look up all those preschools and programs that they were offering in Hawaii. And I came across Tutu Emi. And Tutu Emi is a program where the parent participates in the program. So, what that means. Is I or Tamil will go to the school 
and be with our kids while they're participating in school. When they have circle time, you're like right there next to them doing circle time with the kids. And then they have different types of various stations where they can go to and you know, they go to different stations to play whatever they want to play. But we're usually pretty much with them. Yeah, it's a really awesome find. So Ako did a great job of researching that and just going and checking these places out and found that this was the best for our situation. Yes. And we would like to also give some context to why this works for us is because for us, our daughter, uh, she's three and a half now. Yes. Um, and we have a uh, son who's one and a half. Mm -hmm. And our daughter has a degree of, you know, separation anxiety. Mm -hmm. And uh, before the move, she was going to a school. It was a Montessori school. And every day was a struggle. She'd yeah. be crying and she just really didn't want to go to school. Yeah. There was a period where it was okay, but then she went back to not wanting to go back. Mm -hmm. And of course, there's maybe a couple different schools of thought where one is to just say, okay, make the, the goodbyes really quick and just dropping them off at school school, making the goodbyes very short, and then from there going off. And uh, that's one way. But I think in our case, it really wasn't working that well. I, I think it was triggering her a lot more than her getting used to it because this is over a span of months and uh, it just hadn't really gotten to the point where we were comfortable with it. So we decided that it would be better for her that she goes to Tutu Mi, which is the preschool that she gets to go with, not only with mama, but with her brother. And it's only two days a week for yes. a couple of hours. Now, on the other hand, we found that here in Hawaii, it's preschool is pretty much full time. It was hard to find schools that were like maybe two or three days a week. Yeah, and if it was like two or three days a week, it was more like a daycare and that's not really what we were looking for. We were looking for a preschool. Yeah. Right? yeah, and so preschool was like literally full time. Like it was like 7.30 or eight all the way till 2.30 to three or even four. Yeah. And it was every day and that's really not what we were looking for. I'm not working right now, so I don't really need to be away from our kids for that long. And so that's why for us, we were debating, okay, if she doesn't go to preschool, will she fall behind and things like that. But in the end, we, went with our heart mm -hmm, and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. decided that yeah we know that right now this stage of life doesn't last forever and yeah. it's a really tough stage but also it's so precious it and so we decided that yes we want to be with our children as much as possible and decided that this tutu and me Yes. program would be the best yes especially if you can obviously there's a lot of parents out there that aren't able to do this and for those parents that are given this opportunity to stay with their kids, I would definitely try to stay with their kids as much as they can so that they can be the best influence in their kids' life. Yeah, and that's how we were thinking about it. And also, again, it's all contextual. In the context of our family life, this was the best. And so like Akko mentioned, not everyone will have a chance for that, especially nowadays, things are getting so expensive mm -hmm, and uh, we all have to work. And for most, it's uh, maybe even picking up another extra part-time job, mm -hmm, things like that. So. Mm -hmm. It's really tough and so we totally understand and we're just sharing how we were thinking about our situation so that maybe you can glean some insights from how we were contemplating our decision yes so now moving on to how we've been dealing with the stress just the both of us and just because moving itself is high stress moving out is high stress moving in is high stress and so moving to a different environment where you really don't know that many people right yeah at all yeah right. i have a, a few friends here but it's not like i hang out with them or i talk to them on a regular basis and not only that they're not in the same situation they're in a very different yeah. time of their or yes they're in a different season of their life their kids are all grown up mm -hmm. or they're all in college maybe their grandparents and so it's so the difficulty has been long forgotten <laughs> yes. and to them it's oh why do you have to be with your kids so much or just throw them in school kind of a yes mindset, mindset right? yeah. yeah I don't expect them to be like oh okay but we just let them know we want to be with our kids a lot more but with all that said there has been a lot of stress and so what we've been trying to do is take time for ourselves a lot more I'll take the kids out so that Tama will have uh, his own time to relax and work actually work <laughs> <laughs> and vice versa. Yeah, I'll, I'll take him out to the park. Luckily, we have a park close by. Take him out to the park or if there's errands to run, going shopping with the kids and things like that. And then maybe even taking them out for a drive. That's been working out pretty good. So yeah, really managing stress is really important and just not getting to the point where you're pulling your hair out. I think that's really important. So just knowing yourself enough to say, okay, I need some time and then helping each other manage that portion, right? So if one parent is getting flustered making sure that you show that support and because if you're both stressed out it just becomes a lot more difficult not only for 
yourselves, but for the children too. Yeah, absolutely. And another thing that's been helping me is having quality time with Tamil. And that's usually done after bedtime. And usually a lot of things can get done after bedtime uh, just because it's more quiet and we're more relaxed. The kids are sleeping. There's no more screaming or crying or mom, mommy play with me or anything like that or daddy play with me. So it's a lot easier to do things and talk about what's been going on in our life. That's really been helping just talking to each other and being there for each other. Yeah, definitely. And And it's uh again there's a little challenge here too because we want to get to sleep early because when our kids wake up they definitely make sure that we wake up too oh right? yeah so making sure that we try to get to bed at a reasonable time but mm-hmm. at the same time really getting the stuff we need to do done so for example if it's cleaning getting that done quick and then also being able to spend time with each other so that we can debrief and figure out what we want Mm -hmm. for each other for ourselves and just again keeping the relationship nice and healthy Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah and through that by managing our own stresses we can help manage our children's stresses absolutely because children are very sensitive to emotions and whatever emotions their parents are feeling usually that gets transferred over and then they start feeling that distress whatever feeling that emotion that parent is feeling so it's very important to be able to manage our own stress and also the children's stress again by possibly taking them out, moving their body, helps process those emotions. So like we said in prior podcast, move it to lose it. Right. And uh, not only that, like when the, the move happened, we're moving to a different climate too. The weather is different here. It's much warmer here, much more humid, especially our son. He's just been sweating all over. Oh, yeah. And then he had gotten heat rash. He has it once in a while now, yeah. but his body is starting less. to yeah adapt to it quite a bit. Our daughter, she adapted adapted quite quickly (laughs) and she now you know when it's 80 degrees she says it's cold (laughs) it's really funny (laughs) we've had days that it's a 93 plus in the house no ac with uh, high humidity only fans and it gets quite uncomfortable humidity is like 70 80 percent we're not talking like 30 percent especially right after it rains yeah yeah yeah. so it gets pretty warm and there's a lot of physically getting used to the weather and luckily for all of us i think we've been managing very well there but uh, that's also a stress we need to make sure that we're managing it well and then also helping our children process those emotions too like aqua said move it to lose it and yeah aqua has been taking the kids out quite often and sometimes we both need to take them out what two to three times yeah, a yeah. day so oh, yeah. I'll go do maybe two in the morning mm-hmm. afternoon and then yep. maybe I can take them out to the park or something at yeah. the end of the in day in the evening yeah. yeah it's just yeah so we got our daughter into gymnastics so that she can literally move her body because she really loves gymnastics So that's another thing too. And also join this group called Hiking with Keiki. And Keiki means children in in Hawaiian. Hiking with Keiki. And I'm having the kids get used to like hiking and everything so that they can move their body. They're outside. They're still socializing with other kids as well. And doing a bunch of things so that they can release their energy and their emotions. So yeah, that's what we've been doing. And it's been working out so far. Yeah, getting that routine going. We mentioned in previous podcasts, like routine really does help a lot oh yeah it's just that in our situation the routine has been broken so often just because of emergencies or having to go to a different just flying and things like that is family coming over then yeah the routine gets broken like so multiple times so then you're having to get back on the routine over and over and so it's been difficult but at the same time every time i think with the routine we're getting better and better at it yeah because we're having to restart so many times (laughs) and it's not over yet within the next week or two we're flying out again so we're gonna have another reset really working to get that routine back as soon as possible and then really having a great time with the children Mm -hmm. that's one thing that i've really been feeling in my bones is that in my case i used to more so feel that okay children are supposed to be like this i had that mindset and that mindset was really causing me a lot of angst and difficulty being with the kids my thought was okay kids are supposed to listen to their parents (laughs) but obviously when you have kids that's not the case (laughs) and just shifting the mindset from that to enjoying the moment we always hear be in the moment enjoy the moment things like that Mm -hmm. but i'm looking at it more from enjoy the moment instead of having a goal okay oh and x amount of years they're gonna finally understand what i'm talking to them about not that way but getting to the level of our children and 
being with them、mm-hmm. and having fun with them. And that's definitely resulting in much more positive interactions with not only parent child relationship, but it's just becoming a lot more fun.、Mm-hmm. And I, I noticed that my children love to play games. They think everything is game. There are times that I'm just tired. Hey, I don't want to play games. Just could you just please do this? But at the same time, okay, if I want it done, I have to turn it into a game.、Mm-hmm. And it's just learning and keeping it fun. So that's something that I've been learning and trying to incorporate and integrate into my life. Yeah. And I think that's really working. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Like they love it. Daddy's always fun. <laughs> and mom, mama's not. So they're always like, then we're going to go to daddy. So it's really funny. But they know that daddy is a lot more flexible. <laughs> so they want a lot more stuff from me. So that's a little difficulty that I need to work on. But yeah, it's been fun. Things have definitely changed because when we first moved, it was so stressful. That openness or that space to even be like a playful and fun, it, it wasn't there. Yeah. But little by little, Working to take more time for myself so that I can give a lot more too.、Mm-hmm, yeah. So, if your cup is full, you can definitely give to others too. But if your cup is empty, there's not much to give.、Yeah. And so, I've been working on that. Yeah, yeah. And I think it's been helping like both of us. Yeah, with that said, a little bonus thing is that our daughter and I, we actually flew back to California、mm-hmm. uh, together、mm-hmm. and had a father daughter time. And that was really awesome. I think that. Really made a big impact. I think it potentially changed the trajectory of our lives. So、uh, it was really great. And in the future, I hope that I can do that with our son.、Mm-hmm. And we're, Akko and I were talking, Akko can probably do that the same thing. Our son and then daughter, just with mama only time and、yes. dada only time、yeah. for both of them. Yeah. It's really good. Yeah. And so I think that's been a great thing. And we'll probably talk about what happened in、mm-hmm. future podcasts because it's really interesting how she acted with just dad and with. Without little brother. Oh, yeah. And so it was very interesting. So,、mm-hmm. something that we will probably talk about in future podcasts. But for now, we'll just keep it with just our happenings in Hawaii. And so, yeah. So, if you think this episode is helpful for other parents, please share it. And if you haven't, please take a quick moment to subscribe to our show. And the question of the day is Have you moved with your family? Have any tips you'd like to share? We'd love to hear from you. Please come say hi by commenting on our website by going to akkoandtamo.com, which is A K K O A N D T A M O.com, and clicking on the podcast tab. All right, bye. All right, till next time. <laughs>